Welcome to the Print Runner instructional video detailing how to export your InDesign CS4 into a print ready PDF file. We encourage you to use this method as much as possible to ensure that your order meets our file check requirements and prevents any delays in the production process. Starting off with your InDesign file open, go to the file menu and choose export. In the export dialog window, Give your file a proper name and choose a location that you remember. At the bottom of the window, choose Adobe PDF for the format and click the Save button. This will launch the Save Adobe PDF dialog box. In this window, choose Press Quality from the Adobe PDF preset drop-down. This presets many of the options and fields the closest to our print runner settings. For compatibility, choose the highest Acrobat version you have. Do not choose Acrobat 4 PDF 1.3 if at all possible. In the first setting called General, choose All Pages and leave Spreads unchecked. Under the Options list, it is recommended that you check the boxes for Embed, embed Page Thumbnails, Optimize for a Fast Web View, and View PDF after Exporting. Export the visible and printable printable layers as long as you are sure that any layers such as guide layers are hidden. The compression tab allows you to downsample any excessively large images down to a specific resolution. It is only necessary for you to give us images at 300 dpi. Any more than this is excessive and will create an unnecessarily large PDF file. Choose bicubic downsampling at 300 dpi or ppi with zip compression for all three image choices color, grayscale, and monochrome. Keep the boxes checked for compressed text and line art and crop image data to frames. The marks and bleed tab is probably the most critical and most likely the main reason why orders go on hold at Print Runner. This tab controls the amount of bleed you give as well as crop marks which indicate where we need to cut the job. Under Marks, it is really only necessary to check Trim Marks. In the Offset field, enter 0.125 or 8th inch. Do not leave at 0. In the Bleed section, enter again 0.125 or an 8th inch in all four fields. Under the Output, change color conversion to no color conversion and don't include profiles. If you are submitting a standard web order then click the ink manager button. If there are any other colors besides process, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black then check all the spots to process checkbox. This will convert any PMS or spot colors to CMYK. If you are placing an order that actually specifies a Pantone color and it's okay to leave only that color as its own spot ink. After this, it is not necessary to go to any of the other tabs. Click the export button and watch your PDF pop up on screen. Check through all the pages to ensure that everything looks okay. If everything looks fine, close the PDF, go back to the InDesign file, choose File, Export again, and you will see that your modified settings are still saved. Click the Save Preset button in the dialog box Enter a name such as Print Runner or My Printer Settings and click OK. You will now see that the preset you just created is in the list of Adobe PDF presets for you to choose from. You can now use this as a PDF setting without having to remember all those compression and bleed settings that you just entered. Thanks for watching this clip. I hope it was very informative. If you have any other questions or issues, you can visit the Print Runner website to view more of our help topics. Thank you.